see, I got my lights on, yeah. The tail lights. <laughs> Blind corner spooky, man. <laughs> I don't know if a bicycle rider's coming or not, so I try to honk and let them know, hey, somebody's coming. Hey, I was looking on YouTube last night, guys, and there's this uh, big old train horn for motorcycles that's called the motor horn. If you guys are on YouTube, try looking that one up, man. It's a it's a big old it's a kidney cell, a big old freaking horn, like a train horn. That's easy. It, 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 you hook it up to your uh, positive and negative to your battery terminals or whatever. You mount it on your motorcycle or your scooter, your pickup, your car, whatever you want to mount it on to, man. And that damn thing's loud. They're selling those for motorcycles for uh, because look at this horn somebody's in a car bumping music or whatever or just with the loud engine how are they going to hear that compared to a train horn <laughs> I can imagine having a big old train horn a uh, loud old train horn on this little scooter I just wouldn't know where to mount that damn horn at that freaking horn is pretty long you know so it's a no-go but I was watching uh, people mount it to their Harleys or whatever their Honda motorcycle whatever they might have and yeah it looks pretty cool pretty gnarly on the motorcycle but I just don't I haven't seen nobody mounted on no scooter yet it's a trip I make it over here when it's dark and I, I'm only like 10 minutes 15 minutes the longest like right now it only took me like 12 minutes in there and uh, it's already daylight that's how quick the sun comes out I walked in there and I could tell it's already started getting light and uh, but it's still dark and right now I walked out 12 minutes later it's freaking already daylight out here be a good deal for me is uh, I need to check my tire pressure I haven't checked it for like two months I got the little gauge the uh, what's it called the digital air pressure gauge that I bought off of Amazon everything I buy is off of Amazon I tell you as much as I talk about buying stuff off of Amazon they ought to freaking sponsor me reward me some they're always sending me uh little questionnaire things or something that's saying hey uh, somebody's asking this question would you answer it it's being that I've already purchased the item so with this WS W S D cam alarm that I got on this here deal that I made a video about just a couple videos back uh, that's what they keep on asking they're asking me to answer questions on that I don't mind it helps save somebody uh, a lot of trouble man I mean when I go to sleep at night I got a peace of mind I know that uh, my alarm could be heard from in the house and if that alarm if uh, somebody came up to my scooter and started like just putting a hand on it all it takes is just a little vibration the alarm's going to just give them a warning eh, eh. And then if they're like, oh, well, hell with it, I'm going to, you know, the second time they go to touch it, the thing ain't going to shut up after that until I come out and hit the button. Hey, on windy days, it sort of sucks because uh, windy days make it, I had to turn it, well, I really don't want to, well, yeah, I have to give the honest speed, the honest uh, truth thing about it. So, yeah, on windy days, especially when I got my little tarp on here, my cover, and the wind's blowing that I, the alarm just always constantly want uh, sound you know so these uh, motion sensor alarms are good on a non-windy day well actually let me rephrase that as long as you don't have a tarp cover that's like nylon and blowing all over the place Hey, these saddlebags sometimes make me want to fall down. Look at I don't know if you can see, but I went to put my foot down and then I was forced to put my foot up more because uh, I guess where I'm used to put my foot, my leg at whenever I go to catch myself at a stop like this, my saddlebags get in my way.
I bought this here seat cover watch when I get it past this light I'll pull over I'll show you guys it's only like nine dollars under ten dollars on Amazon once again talking about purchasing something on Amazon I wonder how much money I've spent on Amazon products or stuff that was on sale you know I like Amazon tell you guys the truth man it saves me from having to go out and purchase something it just comes to my door Sketchy right here, man. I would hate to be freaking hit by a vehicle on this little scooter. So the this road was blocked off for about maybe almost a month, and all it was was just to widen the road, which is a plus. They redid it too. You could tell where they started working on it right up here. Let me make it past this here canal bank and then I'm going to show you guys this seat cover like I was telling you I was going to show you. perfect spot to pull over guys said I was going to show you guys my seat cover so basically guys I think I like the way look at that kick up a little dust <laughs> all right so that's my seat cover guys it just velcros underneath the seat I went with the large guys or the extra large so if you go on Amazon you see this and there's a there's a small medium or large or extra large go with the biggest size guys if you had a 50 cc scooter and a seat of this sort that's what i was thinking well man i don't need no large or extra large that's probably for a 150 cc but i'm glad i did i did get it because i was reading some of the reviews and they were like man it's too small and whatnot and then the ones that were saying it fit their scooter perfect was the extra large one so yeah get the extra large or the large i'm not too sure which one it is but it's the biggest size so if it's the large and there ain't no extra large, that's the size that it is. But if there's a large and then there's also extra large, get the extra large. But yeah, it's a nice, it, bring, it makes the scooter look a little bit newer, guys. I think it does. The seat started looking a little bit faded like this here from the sun. I ain't got no rips on my seat or nothing, but that just made, like, when I sit on it, it doesn't burn my butt no more because uh, now that it's summer, I was realizing the plastic would feel awfully hot when I go to sit down on it you know when it's just out in the heat of the summer heat but now with this little material on there it uh, a lot more comfortable and it looks better gives you a little bit of extra cushion too and I think it was only like nine under ten bucks just by pennies might as well just round it off to ten dollars Hey doggy, he's just doing his job protecting his property. Do you guys want to go straight one more time on the canal bank or should we turn right? All right, straight, got you. Probably wondering how I heard you, huh? <laughs> Just playing with you guys, man. Pulling your leg. It smells good out here. I love the smell of country. You might want to. Oh, look at the ducks. They were just having a nice swim in the canal. I still don't know what this stuff is, guys. I know in a couple of my videos. Let me just stop here. Any of you viewers, subscribers, might guess what these things are? All right, that's a church up there, guys. And this is the back of the church. A lot of, I don't understand what that is, man. There, there's an open shed, like, it makes me think that when people will sit in the little huts, wait for ducks to pass by, and I don't know. But and then I started thinking some kind of sweat lodge, maybe, I don't know. But that's a church of Nazarene. So it's not no Indian church here, or you know, uh, usually a reservation has sweat lodges and stuff, but this here is uh, 
doesn't fit the religion, you know? So I don't know what that is. But it does look like little hunter shacks, you know? Waiting for birds to fly overhead. That's what it reminds me of. But yeah, anybody got an idea what that might be? If it's anything at all, drop a comment. Give me what you guys, give me your uh, thinking on that. got gas yeah hate to be out here on the canal banks on empty they call that the coffin whenever I used to swim in canal banks when I was a kid uh, that would be called a coffin right there what the heck is this on that floor for what's in here Hate you later, but I don't see no trash can, guys. All right, we'll be jamming. Soft dirt, soft dirt, and street road or road street tires do not mix, guys. I don't got off-road tires or all-terrain purpose tires. I got street tires. Damn dirty, sketchy riding in soft dirt. It really is. Freaking don't know why I choose to ride on a canal bank today, guys. Maybe just for the vlog of it, you know. Give you guys something better to watch than just a boring ride on the road as usual and plus it's fun I enjoy it but I'm gonna have a dirty scooter now I just bought a new air filter but I don't think it's gonna make my air filter all dirty just for one ride on the canal bank I'm leaving all the dust behind it shouldn't make my air filter dirty now if I was doing donuts and whatnot I would think yeah riding into the dust a lot but I'm sure creating a lot of dust behind me. <laughs> Those orchard workers, they're like, what the hell he doing? I realized that it, that gate was open and it says warning. But uh, it's supposed to be private property, I guess. But I'm just making a shortcut. there's a way to get out of here yeah there should be a way to get out of here right up here freaking rough riding I'm telling you rough riding right now not too bad right here though I don't want to go any faster it's sketchy as I'm riding guys freaking my wheel my front wheel is going different ways it feels like I'm trying to stay on course Are you serious? There should be a road right up here, guys. I'm sort of lost right now. Don't know where the hell I'm at, but we'll get out of here right now. Maybe. Whoa, Yahoo! <laughs> uh, all right, back on track again. That's why that gate was saying warning. This ain't no freaking really. Uh, on the like on the other side, they can. Damn, I almost went in the canal bank right now. Better get over here a little bit. 
Let me get my ass on this road now. Before that farmer starts chasing me and saying, what the hell am I doing riding on his orchards and whatnot. Sometimes they do that because they don't like the... the if I was over here burning out or whatever, it sort of makes it hard for them to pick up their... Uh, whatever they're growing, you know? But I'm not tearing up no terrain. Not on this little 50cc, I'm not. It feels good to be back on the road though. Started getting worried right there. I was wondering if there was even going to be a road. Still no pool. Even, I don't know. I was riding on the black, hella bumpy. Big old house. Let's see. So we're going to turn right, right here. And turn left up there. Sort of wondering what my wheels and stuff gonna look like, being that I hit the canal bank all very dirty and stuff now. We'll have to take a look right now. I don't like riding in on a, on a dirt. I, I like to keep my scooter clean. So why did I go on the canal bank? I think I just wanted to go because the fact is I wanted to experience being a kid again. Because when I was a kid, I'm always on those canal banks. And riding my mountain bike on the canal bank, I always visualized uh, riding a, some kind of motorcycle or a dirt bike. And now that I got a scooter, I'm hitting those canal banks, bringing back child memories. I remember I would always uh, bug to go to my friend's house every weekend, every Friday. The friends that have motorcycles and whatnot, hey man, can I come and stay the night? Sure, let me ask my mom, my dad, and yeah, they'll say, your friend wants to come over again? <laughs> He's like, yeah, please, mama. All right. Hey, uh, how many of you guys ever went to your friend's house? And see, I was a picky eater. So my question is, how many of you guys ever went to your friend's house? And their parents uh, cook some kind of lunch or dinner, but it's stuff you don't like. It's stuff that you, at home you would not eat because you cannot stand the taste like Me, I don't like mayonnaise. I don't like mustards and when I see like whenever I went to my uh, Friend's house as a kid. I would always tell him hey, please uh, tell your mom. I, I would be embarrassed, you know But um, he would mention something but they would forget or something and then here we are all sitting at the table and I got a naked man because I sure don't want to offend him, you know Oh my god, I remember that stuff. That was awful, man. It really was. Like, if it was lunchtime, it would be uh, extra mayonnaise, extra mustard, which I cannot stand on the sandwiches. And, yeah, that's stuff I think about today. And I, I tried my best, and then I was like, man, I'm so full, I can't eat the rest. I was starving, but I was uh, trying to bring up an excuse to, hey, can I save it for later? And then uh, try to throw it away or something, you know, give it to a dog. Normally my friends have pets as well. But yeah, I don't know. I was a picky eater. Never liked cheese neither, but now as an adult I love cheese. Never liked olives. I like olives now. That's weird. How as a kid I really was picky. And uh, I grew out of a lot of pickiness. I like a lot of stuff these days, but I still can't stand mustard. I can't stand panties. miles already guys I want to pull over I want to check out my ride see how dirty it is I'm just curious let me see what we working with
Yeah, just the tires look dirty. Everything else look alright. Man, my back. I threw out my back yesterday. If you guys are probably wondering how I did that. Yeah, yesterday was my, my birthday. And, uh, my son and my grandkids came over. And boy, my grandkids got big. So when Grandpa was holding them, <laughs> and I go to put them in the car seat of my son's car, and that's where I I was straightening out my back a lot. And sure enough, my back's hella sore today. I think it's funny how my <laughs> my chunky grandkids hurt my back by just. I mean, I got a, a year old, a year, year, one year old grandson and then I got a two and a half year old grandson going to be three soon and the three year old the one that's going to be three soon is the one that did it so Moses if you're watching this I love you but you hurt grandpa's back yesterday <laughs> and I love uh, being a grandpa guys here I am at 43 years old now as of yesterday I don't say 42, but yeah, I turned 43 yesterday. And a real quick thank you to those that wished me a happy birthday. Two wheels, one lens. And uh, another thing is I want to give a quick shout out to every single 130 of you subscribers. I appreciate you guys subscribe to my channel. You guys support means a lot. Like I said, man, this here channel would not exist if it wasn't for you subscribers. And my promise is to you guys, as long as there's even one subscriber on my channel, I'll continue doing these videos. But yeah, it's a blessing, man. I really get happy when I see another subscriber and I see you know, everybody sticking on and not falling off. Because I notice if one subscriber was to uh, say get off and not uh, to stop, or yeah, to get off the, subscri the subscription of my channel, whatever you call it. Yeah, that really makes me like feel like, oh man, I should have done better, you know. But uh, when you guys stay on board, man, stay on team right there, that makes me feel really good. That makes me want to get out and still bring you guys some more content. And I try to think of different ways to better it. Bear with me, guys. This is new. And I'm only going to get better and better. I'm really waiting for the 150cc scooter. We're going to do some good videos with that one. And I'm saving up for uh, a drone because what I like to do I'm trying to get a hold of another uh, camera, action camera, so I can switch up angles as I'm talking to you guys. I want to be able to give you guys aerial footage. Uh, I want to be able to you guys to see the back of me, the front of me, the side view. So what I'm trying to do is just give all sorts of other equipment to bring in other footage with, you know? So I want a drone and I need another action camera or two. Other than that, I'm going to have to take out this camera, stick it here, and then from there stick it here. But I'd rather just have all the cameras on the thing record and just do my thing when I edit yeah I see how other YouTube channels boy it does bring a difference whenever you see different uh, angles uh, when somebody's writing I'm always giving you guys just one just one angle to look at and I'm going to change that up pretty soon it's just my finances is holding me up right now I believe coming July, uh, August I'll be able to purchase either a drone or another action camera so things will be getting better shortly I believe by August some changes will be happening all right guys thank you for watching I know uh, this video has been long so let me go ahead and end it right here and we'll go ahead and start making another video I'm just going to end this one and think about making another one right now. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. As always, God bless. Be safe. And uh, see you on the next one. So I need to pick up some things at the store. What store am I going to go to? Depending on what time it is. You know what? 
I want to go home first. I gotta take home this here medication because I hate to go in the store. Somebody go through my saddlebags and there goes all my medication, you know? I don't want to be tugging all that stuff in the store neither. So yeah, I'll go home and come back out shopping. Oh, I know what I need to do. I gotta go that way. I lost my lens on my flashlight this early morning. And I wanted to go pick it up because in the night, yeah, I couldn't find it. But I know where I lost it. So I was like, okay, on my way back, it'll be daylight and I'll be able to see it easily, like easily on the road. I know whereabouts I lost it at. But it's just hard to see when it was nighttime. Oh man, my back hurts. light we do got a car behind us that's helping us turn this light so that's great It was just right in, right in the road, got me straight at me. It's crazy. All right, so right up here at the light, I'm gonna turn left and that's where the little lens off this flashlight came off this early morning when it was all dark. So I did tell myself, I did turn around, I couldn't find it, it was all dark. And even with the flashlight on, I still wasn't able to locate it. But, um, oh, it's not this light, it's the next light. But yeah, I told myself on the return trip, when the daylight, when the sun would be up, and it'd be daylight out, I'd come back over here and find my little lens to this here rechargeable flashlight. So that's what we're doing right now, guys. Sorry about the camera angle. I just realized the camera angle is pretty much down. So let me start this video over just in case. All right, let's go find this here flashlight lens. Let's locate it. So yeah, I don't think the lens broke. It's metal and glass, hard glass, like bifocal glass. I lost it right up here where the sign says 35 miles per hour. Somewhere right in this area I did. So let's go ahead and pull over and take a look here. So what I'm thinking is that it came off and there it is in the road right there. I found it. 
Oh man, ain't that a shame? Cars ran over it, guys. Let's see here. Ain't that a shame? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't think the uh, the lens broke. Look at that. Damn lens did break, guys. All right, let's go. It's only a little flashlight. Well, the, light, the battery is more expensive than the damn flashlight is. The rechargeable battery. Yeah, these LED flashlights, they're cheap. But it's just the batteries that, uh, if you want a rechargeable battery, it's what it costs. Here we go again. Alright guys, I'll give it up. I don't think I got what it takes to try out American Idol. Look at the deer. Statue look real. <laughs> 